a new customer of mine uh, sent me a crankshaft that he had just recently got back from another shop that had lightened and balanced it. Um, he found me on the internet and uh, wasn't too pleased with the way it kind of looked and sent it to me to uh, kind of double check the thing. So this was done by another shop, a pretty large name shop in the, co in, uh, the country. And you can kind of see it's, I don't know, it's not finished. It's, it's really shabby looking. And supposedly they had balanced it as well too. And uh, I don't believe that they balanced it because they had there's no metal removed from the thing in the bottoms of it. And the other thing that they did is they uh, they rounded out all of the the heavy metal uh, Allen plugs. So I can't get the Allen plugs out. I'm gonna have to drill them out and do all kinds of hassle because they they destroyed both of them on both sides. So so uh, I decided to spin it and see uh, just how far out of balance it was or uh, you know how good of a job they did balancing it and uh, I'll let you take a look here generally a crankshaft for racing applications or track applications should be balanced to within two two grams of imbalance and uh, you know, you can get away with five grams of imbalance, you know, if it's a street bike, but I generally don't like to get much more than five on anything at all. Uh, anything that I do, I balance. For customers, I always do it down to within two grams, and that's well more than acceptable for any type of race application. So I'll show you on the, on the screen here just how, how far out this one is. So this crank on the left plane is 22.4 grams out and 21.4 grams out. That's how much of imbalance that it has. It's not, that's how much weight has to be removed from it for it to be zero balance or down to within spec balance. And, uh, you know, like I said, two grams is acceptable. 20 is absurd. So sometimes it, uh, it's better to wait for uh, good quality work.